people who try to turn when it's not their turn to turn, right? There's that. The second thing I hate, second thing I hate is it, when it's cold outside, I hate being sweaty. Like having, like, so I don't have a shirt on underneath because it was just completely sweat through. I hate being sweaty and then going out into the cold. It makes my skin crawl. Like it's, it's, it's top five, not great feeling. And if you want to know what top one is, it's being sticky. All right, what is going on? It's a smooth 5.27 a.m. And not too cold out, which is nice. You know, I, not lifting for two weeks straight, you know, I was going a little insane because I just love to go to the gym. But I will say that it, it was nice to not have to get up and work out at 5.30. Now, you're probably like, well, Eddie, just don't get up at 5.30. I don't know. There's something nice about the discipline of, like, waking up at 5.30. Also, I'm going to be lifting with my brother-in-law, and that's, like, the only time we really can work out together. So, we prioritize 5.30. Sometimes you just got to suck it up. You know, you got to just wake up drive to the gym now thankfully the gym now is like six minutes away compared to like 16 minutes away so that always made it difficult in the morning because you're like i gotta spend 16 minutes driving around the highway and all this other stuff so anyway uh we're gonna be hitting uh back and bicep today we're gonna be doing a pool day or as i like to call it a yoink day yoink day we're gonna be doing that um, hopefully we can start to see some back growth because I, I, I lost a lot of back growth you know what I mean like I I don't know what it was in this bulk I've, I've I've put on muscle but I feel like I've lost a lot of definition in my back you know a lot of the striations aren't there like they used to be um, and that's fine you know because like I, I've been building strength but really want to get back to the, the point of having like a really strong back um, really aesthetic back you know, like there's there's pose pictures and pump pictures that I had of my back probably from like August where I'm like, oh my goodness, okay, like we're starting to see those ridges in those chiseled parts. And so I just got to get back on that, um, you know, in, intentionally. Um, so we're going to hit some T-bar rows. Uh, we'll probably hit some lat pull down or some sort of variation. Maybe even some cable pullovers for some isolation today. Um, and then obviously biceps. Probably going to hit like a, a super set of like incline dumbbell mixed with like an incline hammer curl, which is always good. Really get those fired up. And then we will probably, well, we, we'll have to do hamstrings. We'll have to do hamstrings because that's part of our pool days. Like I said before, we, we usually incorporate legs into into our, our push day and our pool day. And then we do the full body on Friday, which has legs in it. So that we're hitting legs at least three times a week. But I don't know. I, I don't want to hit legs. Like I said, I'm fine being a Dorito on the top half and then like twig legs on the bottom half. I, I say I'm fine with it, but I'm probably not really fine with it. But we'll see. All right. I'll, uh... We'll fast forward to the workout. Oh, man. No. We're doing uh start with hamstrings and I haven't done hamstrings in probably honestly a month so 
I'm going to push myself and I'm not going to be able to walk tomorrow. The goal is to make sure that the muscle falls off the bone after this set, okay? Hold me to it. First working set. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to try 90. to work to single leg. Oh, that's miserable. Uh, okay, here we go. Ah, uh, five second break. Ah. Uh. single leg. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's switch the right one. Finish with some double leg. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's not going to be fun tomorrow. Hi. I don't know how I'm gonna do a second set. That first set was miserable. Um, also, yesterday in the video, the sound dropped out for like about nine seconds. Uh, one of my buddies like messaged me about it. I was like, yeah, I had to cut some stuff because there was copyright. His song was playing in the background and you could hear it too clearly. And so in order not to like get the view, the view of the video to be like, band or whatever I had to like block it so if it happens again this video you know why because there's a recognizable song in the back here we go number two we're gonna go a little higher weight hit less reps but work on that progressive overload <laughs> yeah, that's awful all right here we go wow 20 pounds makes a big difference <laughs>
All right, five more double, and then a ton of single. Uh, 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 I think I just drooled a little. Uh, uh, Wipe down your equipment. I'm not kidding. Every single video, I'm going to tell you to wipe down your equipment. I forgot to wipe it down earlier. So, lap pull down mixed with some cable pullovers will be good. Get a nice little warm up in here quick. <laughs> So, then move on to, so, lap pull down mixed with cable pullover. So if you've never done a cable pullover, cable pullover is pretty nice for isolated lap work. So I'll show you that real quick. All right, so I recorded this once, but I wasn't even in the shot because I'm a terrible cameraman. So, this is a cable pullover. This is great for isolated lat work. So what you want to do is kind of bend your body extend your arm so that you're stretched at the top where the cable ends and then essentially you want to pull and squeeze your lat down with a straight arm so it looks something like this this is great to warm up the lats but also great if you have a hard time getting a pump in your lats i know from personal experience because i still can't feel my lats most times uh, you've seen me try to do a lat spread it doesn't work out well. And then you just want to squeeze right down there. Stretch, squeeze. Remember, stretch isn't the only movement of an exercise. The squeeze is 50% of that component. You gotta squeeze. Really, every time you go, you should try to make your muscles spasm when you're squeezing as hard as you can. Sometimes I find it helpful to just say the word squeeze at the bottom and make that stupid little sound like that. I don't know. Maybe that's just wishful thinking on the squeeze part. Oh, I definitely feel it though. Oh, God. So I woke up Tuesday morning and my chest was on fire. And then Tuesday evening, my triceps were on fire. So that's a good sign that I pushed myself hard, especially after not being in the gym for two weeks. And obviously that soreness and that fatigue will go away even after intense reps because it'll be actually feeding my body with like a ton of food. So we won't have to worry about it. But it sucks right now. Oh. Alright, we're moving this 
camera all around this morning. I forgot to tell you that we didn't we didn't record that last set of lap pull downs, but we did them. We did them. Apparently I need to start recording in 0.5 because I'm just always too close up camera. So if you see things lopped off, I'm working on it. So we're hitting back and biceps today, as you know. Doing bicep warm-up. And then probably gonna crank out two heavy sets of preacher curl. Which if you if you're not doing preacher curl, you should probably do preacher curl. The stretch is crazy. cheated on that one. There was one workout where I only listened to the Barbie soundtrack. It was good. I, I was feeling it. Especially the song with Ice Spice. You know I'm a big fan of Ice Spice. Also I'm still in that weird spot where like I feel uncomfortable talking to the camera. Like it's, it's kind of weird. Especially in public. Because you look, you look like a jerk. Let's be honest. Nice little drop set here. Because we want big arms. Oh. Well, I forgot to say that on the way here, I was talking about crunch on the video, and I started driving to crunch, and I was like, oh crap, so I had to get off Walnut and turn around, because I was like, oh, I missed my exit. I was talking about crunch, and I mentally was like, I'm going to crunch. Ugh. All right, pro tip. If I'm able to talk during these, I'm not doing it right, so hold on, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up and wait and cry, and then I'll be forgiven for my mistake. Oh God. Ugh. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, that'll get you there. One more, one more, one more. One more. That should suffice, I think. I don't know. This is a superset incline curl and then hammer curl. Um, and so you just use a moderate weight so that you can you can rep out a lot more hammer curls than you can regular bicep curls, but the stretch on this is pretty good. And um, I think this is one of the things that has helped my biceps blow up in the past couple months. So, and by blow up, I mean just get bigger, not actually be massive, but one day. All right, here we go. Oof. 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 
I'm gonna hit one more of these. This is the third set. And after that, I'm thinking we might move on to barbell rows, just cause I really wanna prioritize that mid back thickness that I lost in the last couple months. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna hit these and we're gonna hammer home some of those. And I should probably do calves, but that's still up for debate. This wasn't originally on the docket for today, but I want to get some um, barbell rows in just because I really want to grow the mid-back thickness. Um, you know, I, I feel like I lost so much progress in my back development. Like, I think I gained strength, but like, I'm really trying to go for that aesthetic look. Um, just like ridges everywhere, wide lats, thick back. So I think that'll be a focus with the bulk. It's really just turning into arms and back and, you know, I don't know, I'm not mad about it, but we'll see how it shapes up. So I'm gonna probably do two sets of these and um, this is probably gonna feel real heavy, especially with the hamstring work already, my legs are gonna just be jelly. So if you see me shaking, feel free to make fun of me in the comments. I already did five set, or five reps, but that angle was terrible. So we're gonna do less reps this time. Odds are, I'm gonna be just as sore for back and bicep today that I was for chest on Tuesday from the workout Monday. Uh, Monday, I did not hit my bulking goal. Like, nowhere close. I think I was like 500 calories off. But then I, uh, I really made up for it yesterday. I had a ton of junk food. Like I had like two ice cream sandwiches and like five cookies. And then I had like a ton of protein. So I, I hit like 200 grams of protein, which is huge. Like you want that for your macros. But I had a lot of junk food to get me there. So my hope is that as I get back to being able to eat at a higher capacity, that I'll become cleaner and cleaner in the bulk. But this was just kind of like, I whatever means necessary, I need to hit that. So we hit that. Um, and those ice cream sandwiches were good. They were the ones that have like the two cookies layered with vanilla in the middle. And then like the chocolate chips on it can't beat them. I think they're called like a chip witch from Costco. So good. All right, so we have one more set of barbell row. And then we're probably gonna start, we're gonna, we're gonna hammer some biceps again. I'm not doing calves today. I should, but I'm not. I'm not, it's okay. It's okay. My calf genetics already put me in a downward spiral for that anyway, so. All right, let's hit this barbell row. Look at that, you get all the fresh angles, you know. All right, here we go. Also, this feels very heavy, very heavy.
I'm gonna do basically as many reps as possible, just regular bicep curl with the barbell. And then I'm gonna do a reverse curl. So as many as I can do bicep curl and then same for reverse curl just to work on the forearms and the, and the brachialis a little bit. So we're gonna hammer that and then I think we'll do some cardio and then we will get our day started. It's really just to focus on getting that pump for the pose down here. I guess that's to be determined. process of learning how to really like love my body like I said before like like I'm transparent with you guys like I've, I've struggled with body dysmorphia and uh, specifically muscle dysmorphia and you know it's been one of those things where like I've always felt like I was too skinny or too thin or too frail like I said I, I graduated high school at like 130 and to be able to bulk up to 200 pounds over the course of 10 years I mean it might sound like it took a long time because it did you know and so I'm finally in this place at 28 years old where I, I feel like I'm able to to love my body more and to um, yeah to love the progress that I've made um, and you know pairing that with still being hungry to grow right still being hungry to develop my body in the way that you know I think is best and so you know I'm just it's a process it's a journey but I'm loving the growth that we're seeing I'm loving, I'm loving the fact that my arms are looking bigger, that my chest is fuller, you know, and my belly may be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. This is, especially this is a bulk, but so that's the pose down. I'm hoping that, you know, a hundred videos from now, you know, we can be pretty, we can be pretty massive and pretty thick, but until then, we're just going to keep cranking one day at a time. <sighs> oh yeah. It's all about the down lighting. Oh, yeah. How's that looking? Oh, 
right, we're gonna hit some cardio and then we're gonna get home and start our day. All right, on our way home, good pose down, good little cardio after, and uh, that's how you start a day. That's how you set up a day. This is the thing, I, I feel like when, when, when my life changed for the better in terms of my habits, it was because I started going to the gym in the early morning, right? Like there is something powerful about starting your day off with just moving your body. There's something powerful about getting in the gym and lifting heavy weight and proving to yourself that you could do hard things. And then it's just a domino effect for the rest of your day. The, the gym, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion, this isn't like an original, unique take. This isn't a hot take. This is, so many people hold this opinion and value this opinion. And uh, it's just the idea that if, if, if your day is a set of dominoes, then working out is the first domino. It's the first thing you conquer in the day is like conquer, conquering your own mind, conquering your own body, and being able to really just, I don't know, crush it and see yourself do something meaningful. So anyway, um, enough of that. Is that motivational? Is that a motivational enough for you? No. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I'm just a fan of starting the day off that way, um, sweating and all that stuff. Now, I will say the thing that I hate least is people who try to turn when it's not their turn to turn, right? There's that. The second thing I hate, second thing I hate is it, when it's cold outside, because this is winter, it's January. Uh, and even though it's not like one degree like it was two weeks ago, uh, it's still cold. I hate being sweaty. Like having, like, so I don't have a shirt on underneath because it was just completely sweat through. I hate being sweaty and then going out into the cold. It, it, like, it makes, it makes me shiver. It makes my skin crawl. Like, it's, it's, it's top five not great feeling. And if you want to know what top one is, it's being sticky. I hate, I hate being sticky. Like, syrup on my hands. Like, I just want to chop my fingers off at that point. Is that too drastic? Honey on my hands. Like, I don't know. And so I have a son, and so he's sticky half the time from his food. So I'm, like, having to learn how to, like, not hate being sticky. Because it's, it's in the cards for the foreseeable future for a long time. That I'm going to be cleaning up a sticky kid. So myself, in turn, will be sticky. Anyway... All that being said, um, yeah, good workout, good workout. We sweat a lot, pushed a lot, decent pump, not the best pump, but I need to, I need to refuel still, right? I'm still, I'm still in this process of getting food into my body, carbs into my body, and really just going ham there. And then I need to just continue to stay hydrated. You know, I was, I was crushing it before I got sick. I was drinking about a gallon, um, a gallon and a quarter every single day. Uh, super hydrated and now not but I think I think that's how I lost a lot of uh, a weight in the sickness too is I just was you know I had a lot of water weight that was lost so I probably lost like three pounds of water weight three pounds of fat and then like three pounds of muscle that's probably how it shook shook down shakes down um, I don't know I'm not a scientist though so that's probably all just made up but anyway so we're gonna get home, we're gonna eat a lot of food for breakfast so that I don't have to worry about it in the day. And then, um, you know, we got some good stuff hanging out today. You know, I got a little bit of time before I go into work and I got a prayer meeting to go to, which will be good. Uh, and then we have our high school ministry tonight. So I'll probably just take some time for me this morning before I go in anywhere. Um, I've recently been getting back into Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, because I'm a giant nerd and something that's been fascinating is trying to like figure out how to like world build um, so like in fantasy writing like building your own world building like your own like I don't know fantasy novel in a sense but I want to like build that in uh, in the like the D&D &D world so that I can like run it as a campaign with some of my students one day um, so that that would be kind of fun so I've been working on that and uh it's been very time consuming, um, but it's also been really fun. Like it's been a, it's been a fun creative practice 
and so like these videos like I like it because of the creativity aspect of it and I you know I look at working out as a sense in a sense as like a creative process because you're trying to like create the body you want so um, there's that aspect of it uh, and then obviously like this new creative endeavor of just like making like cool fantasy maps that fit into this world that I'm building and writing backstory and plots and you know characters and, and places and cities and towns anyway I'm not gonna bore you with all those details I probably bored you you're probably not even watching at this point but that's okay um, yeah I, I really want to I don't know expand my horizons that way so anyway all right we will uh, we'll catch you on the next one probably on Friday for a full body day and then I'm just gonna try to figure out what my schedule is gonna be like when I am making this gym content because um, I'm not going to film every workout, right? For me right now, that's unrealistic. But I want to film a good amount of my workouts and uh, share it with you guys. So this has been episode two of the gym vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, let, the, let the algorithm, as they say, let the algorithm know that you want more of this content. All right. I will see you guys later. Peace.